unlike um, OFAV and uh, Esbriet or the generic now profenadone, what those studies were all based on is the, as, and those of you on this call that have lung function, you know this all very, very well, your forced vital capacity or your FVC. So what both of those drugs have shown is that over the course of a year, that if you take OFAV or Esbriet as opposed to placebo, the, the rate of decline of your forced vital capacity is less. It still declines, but it's less. I don't think the readout for these supplements is FVC, because we think what these supplements are, what, what, what OFAV and profenadone do is they make it harder for the fibroblasts. The fibroblasts are the cells in the lung that form the scar tissue. And the scar tissue is, is collagen. It's like jello. Coll jello is denatured collagen. And so what these, what these scar forming cells are doing is they're making collagen and that's what's accumulating in the lungs in the space where gas exchange needs to happen. What those drugs do is make it more difficult for the scar forming cells to make collagen. They do nothing for the alveolar type two cell. So from my perspective, it's like the horse is out of the barn. The underlying problem is the sick type two cells. And so that's the big, big difference. And so to make a long story short, you need a good pulmonologist because measuring diffusing capacity is the trickiest of the lung functions. But with your pulmonary function testing, once a year, ideally in the same laboratory, because every machine is a little bit different, the two tests are the diffusing capacity and your six minute walk test. I live by that six minute walk test. If your oxygen saturation is staying 88 and above, you know, then, you know, the next year is looking good. If it's in the high 70s, low 80s, it's more of a challenge. So those are the things I look at. What is this? How far have my patients walked without oxygen if you're not on oxygen? And what is your oxygen saturation? And what is your diffusing capacity? Why the diffusing capacity? Because the diffusing capacity is how we measure. It's a surrogate, if you will, for how effective the lungs are at getting oxygen from the air. Completely different than forced vital capacity. They are an assay for type 1 cells. So the idea is that if this works, and over the course of a year or two, we regenerate type 1 cells, you will see an increase in your diffusing capacity. That's the idea. 